So here's Photoshop again, right? I'm gonna X out of this and you know tilt this up just a little bit so you guys can see. And a lot of people have been saying that their WinTab drivers haven't been working, but I have had um I guess a stroke of luck, if you believe in that stuff. And And as you can see, the stylus is working. You put your palm on it, it's Wacom. So you can see that as I um, hover over it, it recognizes that. As you get to the edges, it starts to get a little less calibrated. Even through multiple calibrations, it's still a little off. So right now, I'm going to open a new file. And let's see. Eight and a half by eleven, sure. All right, and let's make this able to be seen. So let's fit on screen. All right now, I'm going to choose paint, the paintbrush tool, and my brush is right there. Okay. I'm going to choose this one. It's some sort of airbrush, I guess. And if you can see, I'm going to mm, make it pretty large. So, so you guys can see hardness just a little bit. And spacing, uh, perhaps a little more dense. Now, as you can see, I, I can bring this closer. I've got these three things right here. One, two, three. Those three things, I have them checked off. So I'm gonna try it and... As you can see, little lag. And you can see the pressure. It's working. A favorite that I like is this brush. And right, I'll toggle with all these things and let's delete all this because it's just really distracting. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to start. As you can see, it's getting all of that information. This one lags just a little bit because it has to render a lot more. But even when I tilt my pen, it's getting this really nice rendered line. Like if you can see right, if you can see right there. And there you go. And you see that? It's pretty amazing. So, if you can still hear it, that's the fan. It's running at its highest. And um, I have TP fan control um, installed. And so I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. Um, if it focuses. Alright, right there. It says 52 degrees Celsius. I use Fahrenheit, but this is a better gauge of how hot it really gets. Usually it's around 48, and right now it's at 52. If I, let me put the pen back in, so I'll show you how to do that. You just, just put it back here. It has its own little slot, which is really nice. So I'll show you the mechanism once more. So here's the button, it's on the left side by the way, but now it's backwards so it's on the right. Press it once and you can take it off with one hand. And as you can hear, big difference in sound because there are two fans, one, two, in this base here with an, ex you know, an extra battery of course. But you can still hear it, it's still coming out from this vent. and. Um, 
you know, I don't know how fast it's going, but it's still going and I can feel it. It's de it definitely gets hot around here and even drawing, you can feel it. So if that's an issue for you, um, this might not be something that you want to invest in, but again, you know, I went forward with it and I am pretty lenient, you know. So yeah, I have it on high performance right now, and it's, uh, battery life is, for me, quite amazing. I haven't had quite as many computers to uh, review, but as this is probably my first one that is powerfully performing, uh, this has amazing battery life. And for the things that I do, I leave it on for quite a while and, you know, it's just still there. Um, I even kind of fell asleep with it, so it was, and it was still on, so, uh, battery life, great. So, if you're looking at stuff and wondering, you know, how the Wacom pen performs on let's say, Sketchbook Express. We can get the uh, handy dandy stylus back out. And uh, let's choose pencil. And let's see. So, I know that was all over the place, but that's as much as I got right now. If you have any more questions, you can comment and ask me to do more. Once again, I got it from PC Connection on the 12th. The 12th. Um, and I got it on the 30th, so more than half a month of waiting. Other than that, enjoy.